today's video is take these five truths into 2024. At first it was three, then it became four, then it became five. All right, the first thing is red flags are red flags. When people show you who they are, believe them. This is a very popular saying. I think Maya Angelou said it first or she was one person who said it. I don't know. But either way, when people show you who they are, believe them, right? Just pray to God. If you're someone like me who doesn't always have a strong spirit of discernment, or where this is not maybe something you're gifted with, you've had to work on it because you just generally want to see the best in people, then you need to really pray for a spirit of discernment and ask God for the strength. Lord, if I see that this is a toxic situation, if I see nothing good will come of this relationship, whether romantic or friendship, give me the spiritual strength to know when to walk away, when to pull back, yeah? Because it's going to be you crying at the end of the year when you realise, wow, I invested and wasted so much time in this relationship and it took so much away from me where I clearly saw the signs from the beginning. So do yourself a favour and recognise the red flags. Number two, everyone can't be a hater. Nowadays, people are quick to write off constructive criticism as hating. Learn to have uncomfortable conversations and accept uncomfortable truths about yourself. Three, give people their flowers while they are here to receive it. You know, we always talk about giving people their flowers, giving people their flowers. And it's only the other day I remembered, oh yeah, give people their flowers while they're here to receive it. Recently, we buried a loved one and looking at um, the grave with all of the beautiful flowers, I thought, wow, like it just hit you like, yeah, this person is not here to hear all the things being said about them and to hear the praise and all of these things. They're not here now. So while people are here, big them up, show them you love them, support them, give people their flowers, give people their honour and respect while they are here to receive it. Because when people are gone, they cannot hear you. They can't receive it anymore. Right. And also, I, I read something the other day that said online that said a lot of men only receive their first um bunch of flowers at their funeral. I thought, wow, that is so deep because a lot of time you don't always see women buying flowers for men so that made me think oh I better do that for my husband one day because I think he would appreciate it because to be honest with you he is the one that got me more into flowers I wasn't that into flowers so ladies you know if you're out and you see some flowers give your husband some flowers and use that as an opportunity to tell him what you love about him yeah all right live a life of integrity Proverbs 22 verse 1 says a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favour rather than silver and gold. Now, if you follow entertainment news, you would have been seeing what happened with Brian McKnight and how he's had this toxic relationship with his children and not been very nice to them. If you see the things coming up about Diddy, even though there have been rumours for many years, now because there is documentation people are talking a lot about Diddy and you see all of the money it doesn't mean a thing because now everyone's looking at you as a despicable person so this is a good a really really good tip here make sure you live a life of integrity you don't know who knows who Facebook should have showed you already when you look oh wow this person knows this person that person knows that person those type of things show you how many mutual like you think it's a small world but it's really not that small. You think, oh, well, I've moved from this area to this area or that area to that area. No one knows me here. No, people are way more connected than you think. Even like as a black person of Caribbean descent, <laughs> just um, a couple months ago, my husband found out that he's related to two people who we've had for friends for years. Didn't even know that they were his cousins, right? So you never know. I remember one time, I was at church. I went to high school in Jamaica. And I remember when I came back, one of the ladies at church said to me, oh yeah, you went to school with so-and-so. Oh yeah, she's my cousin. I thought, boy, so I hope me and her had a good relationship or we got along. I hope she spoke well of me. And obviously we don't want to just live for what people think. We know that sometimes people are bad mind and they make up stories about you, but try your best to live a life of integrity. Yeah. So that no one has any mush mouth stuff to say about you because it's important a good reputation matters and the last thing is i was watching a crystal evans hearst video and she spoke about do the things that you know to do ask god lord please help me to be more obedient please help me to just do the things that i know to do she made a good point to say you know you don't re necessarily need more courses or more information I mean, for someone like me, I, I need more information still because it's only this weekend that I found out that Transylvania is a real place. I know. I'm not, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry to myself. I didn't know that Transylvania was a real place. So I said, you know what? Next year, my general knowledge needs to come up, right? My general knowledge and my world knowledge, cultures, um, countries needs to come up. That's something that I want for myself. So yes, that's that's not to say don't learn anything new, but there's a lot of things that you know to do already and you are not doing them. And then when you when you come to the end of the year and you feel bad like our way to the year, don't blame God, don't blame other people. You can only blame yourself. So don't let the end of 2024 catch you and you're still there saying, oh, I shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know what to do, do better for yourself, yeah? Just give yourself the chance, give yourself the opportunity to do better. All right, our verse of encouragement is John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Alrighty then, bye ladies.